<laughs> huh. Oh. My. Goodness. I think I have neighbors. More neighbors. Whoa. Corrales has moved in. And that's Scar. And those trees are green. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hermitcraft Episode 2. I have quite a lot of stuff, if I do say so myself. And I've been doing quite a lot better with the riches as well as the enchanting. We could definitely use some more diamonds, though. We are going to kick off today's episode with a little bit of mining. Luckily, I have quite the mine going on down here. So it's just going to be a matter of adventuring far enough until I get something. I'm really hoping to come out of this trip with a few diamonds. Diamonds! Oh, this is the only time I've ever been thankful for gravel. And we have fortune three. Please give me lots of diamonds, please, please, please. Three. Boy, am I unlucky. It's okay, I'm sure we'll find more somewhere down here. And we did find more. This was the first time in the season so far that I've actually had a fairly successful mining trip. Not gonna lie, deep slate mining is no joke. It's pretty slow, but combined with caving, it's doable. More diamonds! Whoa! This is the weirdest formation of diamonds I've ever found. Boy, am I happy to see you. I'm gonna struggle out here. There we go. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Thank you, thank you. No more up here, right? No way! I think my luck has turned around. Is that a vein of diamonds? That was so weird. This has been a struggle, but I am about to take my loot and go to the surface. Oh, it's good to be back. Look at all of this. Hey, let's go ahead and start a bunch of this smelting and I'll put the rest in the treasure chest. I'm finally not poor anymore. Diamond armor, everyone. And we can enchant it. Let's see if we can get lucky on anything. I'm breaking three on some pants. I'm gonna go for that. Blast protection? It knows I died to a creeper, doesn't it? So I feel like it's time we address the elephant in the room. Or rather, the lack thereof. So now that we're in episode two, you may be wondering, Jem, why'd you build a treehouse? Why not something absolutely huge like everybody else? And well, to be honest, the answer is simple, pacing. The answer is pacing. This being only my second season of Hermitcraft means that I've never really been in a full length season. And to be honest, I'm nervous. I have done quite a lot of planning and I have huge mega beast plans and shop plans and you know, all, all the other plans. I've got plans. But to be honest, right now in the early game, I want to enjoy the early game. The thing we are doing in season nine a little bit differently is that we are all living together at spawn. Which implies, of course, that our mega bases will not be in this location. We're going to enjoy the early game together, transforming this spawn area into a fun little village. I have plans though, very big plans. Big plans involve big amounts of preparation. So that's what we need to do today, prepare. We're gonna want a hat for this. Please be good. Oh my, okay, okay, all right, okay. Now that I'm all geared up, let's go on a little walk. This world is absolutely insane. I'm so happy with season nine seed. So when I'm talking about the pacing of a season, I mean that I want to have good small goals throughout the season that I can achieve quite easily, along with a larger overall goal. With any luck, doing it like that will help me avoid burnout. My plan to pace things properly this season is going to involve an industrial district. That's right, yep, you've only really heard the technical YouTubers say that word, right? If you've never heard the term industrial district before, don't worry, you're not alone. I don't really hear of it that often either as a builder. Basically, what it's gonna be is this area of the world where I can put all of my mega farms, and these farms will produce blocks that I can build with. The industrial zone will be separate from my actual base as to not lag it out. Don't worry, I'm still gonna make it pretty. You may be wondering, Gem, this is a long trip. Where could you possibly be going for an industrial district? You just wait. Hold on, you wait. I got something. Just a short boat ride from here. There it is, everyone, right on the horizon. My industrial district. Er, well, at the moment, just a temple. Now, you may not know this about me, but I actually have a favorite block, but I almost never use it. And that's because it's, well, it's prismarine. And, uh, prismarine? Hurts. Ouch. Ow. Oh god, I'm in, I'm in danger. I am in danger. I'm in danger. Okay. Those little prismarine producers gotta go. Just real quick. 
hold on. Gemini Tay. Yes, that's clear. That's that's clear. That'll do. That I'm getting out of here. So yeah, this is my plan for facing. We work on getting those blocks early in the game. For now though, this guardian farm will have to sit here unattended. I'll be back, guardian temple. Don't you worry. I'll be back. Along with an industrial area, the other thing that I'm going to need for my proper pacing of the Hermitcraft season is, well, good gear. Because good gear makes for easy collecting. The problem is, I've had the worst enchanting luck ever, I think. Luckily, there's a hermit with a solution. Let's go bug Impulse! Impulse opened up a lovely shop in here. Items to enchant, order here, completed orders. Employees only. Ooh. Okay. So, with Impulse, I am going to leave my sword, because sharpness and knockback is not that effective. As I tested on Jevin earlier. You wanna meet my uh -oh, new sword? She's... Oh, it's got knockback. That's no fun. <laughs> Stop accidentally me! I can't, I, can't, ah! <laughs> I can't fight against knockback. <laughs> Get away. It didn't really do that much damage. Like... Yeah, it just knocks you back. So yeah, I'm gonna leave my item to enchant as this sword. And I'll place my order with impulse. Customer, gem gem, sword, enchantments. Okay, it's gotta be the most OP sword ever. That ought to do it. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to pick up this order tomorrow. While we're in the process of preparing for my mega base, it's time for profits. Using Impulse's shop has given me an idea. I don't actually have a shop. And making diamonds on Hermitcraft is so important. How could I forget this? Don't worry, I'm sure I got something in here I can sell. Ah, bones. I have so many extra bones from that skeleton farm I found. Okay, I know what I have to do. I have to build a shop. I'm thinking this little clearing over here on the edge of the river would be perfect for it. So I'm thinking we'll do a little shop right about here. I have a really good idea for it. Okay, so the first part of every good shop, we need a good base for it. This is where we'll actually sell the items out of. The key to a good shop on Hermitcraft is the ability for it to stand out. To be honest, this is very similar to real life. It's marketing. So it's really a question of how I am going to get this little shop notice. In a land of Hermitcraft where everything is original and fantastic. I'll be honest, it's a tall order. I have a plan though. Oh yes. First things first, we had to clear out the interiors so that we can stock the shop. Birchwood is a must, of course. Yep. It's all coming together. Now, for the main event. This shop is going to be selling skeleton drops, so I thought the easiest way to get the point across would be to simply build an organic. I say simply, but this is probably gonna take a while. So basically, we just wanna lay out some feet. These are the feet, and then we do legs coming off of the feet, and then we have to build the rest. It's time-lapse time, everyone. Let's get this shop going. So far, so good, I think. So, here's our archer. At the moment, it's just a statue dabbing, but that's okay, I'm gonna fix it. I've got a line for the arrow here, and I'm going to try to get a slightly tilted bow right there. She also needs some hair, which, which I'll work on now. The string on the bow, I'm gonna need some white wool. Sorry, sheep. Okay, let's get this archer lady finished. Hello, archer lady. I'm here to finish your bow, and I think your hand is gonna hold it right here. Okay, let's do it. Okay, just a few more decorations to go and this shop is ready. I'm putting some leaves around it and I'm also going to work on some quick interior decorations. Doesn't really need much to be honest, but just some greenery really tends to help. Right, I guess the only thing to do now is to stock the shop and tell the hermits about it. Gems, bones, bows, and arrows. Perfect. Now, all I gotta do is take all the bones, arrows, and bows. Yeah, here they are. Up to the shop. <laughs> oh. Ambush. Let's backstab. She can hear us, Marillus. <laughs> you learn her. You're making and so much noise. Where <laughs> are you? I forgot about that. What are we going to do? Keep I guessing. Marillus, you're glowing too much. She can see you. <laughs> 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 Turn down the glow. <laughs> Can I interest yeah. you in bones, arrows, or bows? Huh? 
Jem, I would fancy everything, but I have to my name zero diamonds at this stage. How do you? Mm -hmm. You're in Nothing. full diamond armor. I've spent it. I've spent it repairing gear because I didn't have mending. Yeah. A Corrales. All my diamonds gone. You know, I went for mining for like four or five hours and I mm -hmm. got like less than a stack. Yeah, it's, it's rough out there. It's not yeah, good. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Your house is really nice. You're a good neighbor. Thank, thank you, Jim. It's a little bit on the big side. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, nah, but, I'm used but to I, it. As I said, I, as I said, like I will hide it with bushes. Uh, I think it's, it's gonna be great. Bushified, and you're not gonna, gonna even notice that there's a house over there. It's oh. gonna be like all bushes. Okay, oh, Corellas, I'll give you one mm -hmm. diamond right now if you tell me that birch is great. Birch. Mm -hmm. Mm, what was that? What was that? Birch is great. One more time. Mm -hmm. Birch is great. <laughs> okay. No, okay. Birch is birch is not bad. I I want to. I, I I love birch. You love birch. birch. Good, good. Birch okay, you've earned it. You've earned it. Come on. Oh, don't fall. Do I get a diamond? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I keep repeating myself. No. Birch is great. Birch is great. Birch is great. No, but I'm glad I got you to say no. it once. There you go. Jim, mm -hmm. you know what I will do? Mm -hmm. I will go down and I will spend it wisely in the beautiful archer shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So just, see? So it's kind of like coming back. I love this place. Like, you know what? You know what I loved about your base in the last season? Hmm. It's how cozy it is. Yeah, I like, like cozy. Just, it's kind of like, you know, it kind of feels like home and it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will buy, boss, I will buy a one diamond per six bows. I just need one. Okay, uh, you know I take six. Yeah, yeah, do it, uh, do it. Well, we have a know, skeleton, two. so there's a lot. <laughs> I just take two. Okay, okay. Two is fine. Two is fine, and I will take a take a stack of arrows as well. Yeah, do it. Boom. Perfect. Gem, gem is great. Birch is great. Mm -hmm. I will I will buy myself a custom birch tree once I get the diamonds. Okay. Wonderful. Good luck in the mines. We got our first customer, kinda, and I'm still working on the archer. To be honest, I'm very particular about the proportions, and I feel like this elbow is wrong. So I'm gonna fix it. Ouch, ouch, not you, you don't even have elbows. Get out of here. And now I bring you an exercise in trust. Tokens. Pearl? It's, a, tr it's yes. a trust exercise. You ready? Okay. It's a tr okay, I'm ready. Yep. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna give it back. Mm hmm. Just not today. Pearl! <laughs> Pearl, try it. Pearl, Adea. Pearl, Go try it. Do it. Pearlescent I'm ready. moon. I'm ready. <laughs> Pearlescent what? moon. I I said I was gonna give it back, just not today. Pearlescent moon, you give that th pearl. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing. You gotta do nothing. Because if I Jim's murder you, me. I'll get the diamond badge. <laughs> Who are you gonna tell? <laughs> Who are you gonna tell on me, oh. Pearl? Pearless. <laughs> Pearless. Where is he? Gross! Jim's being mean. She gave me a diamond, now she's killing me. The Where is Pearl he? broke the trust exercise. <laughs> Don't run me. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Wait, hold on. Ah! I love my friends, all right, and I don't hit them with swords. Okay. I don't steal diamonds from my friends during trust exercises. I didn't steal your you diamond know, either. I said I was gonna give it back in a day. This is not how trust exercises work. If I asked that you is... to catch me if I was falling, you can't do it tomorrow. You have to do it when I fall. Well, you can do it tomorrow. That just pick you back up a day later. <sighs> Pearl, can I can I buy a, uh, a something from your shop? I have a fancy new diamond to use. Yes. Oh look, it's one diamond per stack of bone blocks. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. I will leave now. Okay. We're making a profit. Just. Just off of me. I'm, I'm, we haven't made a profit yet. It's good marketing though. It's good marketing. Well, I think my shop is ready and good to go. Take down the scaffolding. Now, I wonder if my sword is done over at Impulses. I better go check, I think. Impulse. Hello. Oh, oh, you, I'm, I'm just in the back room. Hang on, I'll come right up. Oh, jeez. I, I hear spam clicking. Of don't, okay, I'm covered. I'm covered. <laughs> oh, no, you did it. No, you did <laughs> You have one of those doors, you know? Hey, how's it going? I got your order. Uh-huh. How's, how's my you sword? Thank you for that. Yeah, have you taken care it's, of my sword? I did. I've been working hard on it, actually. Um, just ignore all the noise of all the, hmm. Uh, let's pretend yeah. they're not around. I needed them because you asked for specific things that I couldn't get from the enchantment table really 
correctly. So, oh, um, yeah, I, I was a I was a challenge, was I? You, yeah, you were challenged. It was good though. I stole that already out of there. You ready? You want to uh -huh. see it? Mm -hmm. Grand reveal. Grand reveal. Oh, Ooh. there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh my! Behind you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and it works great. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm, I'm, I've got some good armor now. That didn't do much, but uh, for creepers and such, yeah, it's mm -hmm, gonna, mm -hmm. it's gonna serve you well. Looting and hopefully, uh, oh, I love it. Now, when I yell behind you, Jim, you can just turn around and mm -hmm. kill him yourself. Swipe, swipe, right. swipe. Exactly, you it's got this here, pro. It's perfect. <laughs> After testing the sword on XB for good measure and paying impulse the diamonds, it was time for my show and tell. Listen, I made a shop. Already? Mm hmm. Very well, so did you. And I guess I did too. Yeah, we're kind too, of in this surprised. business thing together because you're mm -hmm. using the XP and I'm using the items. Exactly. So, oh, okay, well, what, you, see, what are you see. doing with the items? I like... built an archer. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is epic. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. I love the hair. She's pretty That's cool, right? Amazing. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, very come cool. See, come see. Wow. This is the shop. Uh huh. So Gems, I'm selling bones. Bones and arrows. Okay, all the things. Mm -hmm. Arrows okay. and some bows. And we've already had a couple of sales on the bone blocks. Wait, you're making fun of my door. What is this? It's a good door. It's not even a real door. That's a good it's a that, what is this called? Impulse? What is this is a it's a <laughs> trap door. It's a door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a door is this impulse. Like, is this like a kiosk? Do you just wait here for people to order? Well, yeah, it's it's nice because you can see in and it's welcoming and good. I guess so. But I guess that's true. In. Yeah. Okay. All right. I take it back. That's smart. So in this episode that is all about pacing and preparation, I feel it's time we relax. I want to focus on this entire area being very inviting to come into. So I'm thinking about setting up a little area down here where I can relax properly. I'm thinking we shave a little bit of the terrain off right here and we can have a relaxing little fishing dock. I got to work fairly quickly on these little docks. The tiny details made me very happy. I was briefly interrupted by a green snooping. Don't know why that is. And I got back to work messing up a little bit of the terrain. You have to make it ugly before you can make it pretty. You gotta trust the process. I made this cute little curvy staircase. I think it worked. I also supplemented with a bunch of details and some color. I like it. Oh, I am in danger. There is a trident dude down there. Hey, come here trident dude. Na 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 na, meet this new sword. Heck yeah. <gasps> I got the trident. Impulse's sword got me a trident. This must be such a lucky sword. I got a trident. First try. Literally, I'm pretty sure that was the first round I killed. That's insane. Yes, that means I had better get this thing enchanted. Need mending. Here we go. Mending two diamonds. Thank you, Impulse. Please be lucky. Please be lucky. Please. Well, at least we got loyalty. I want something cool though, like Riptide. So let's try again. I've been working on the Trident for a little while and I think Impulse left me a little gift in here. Yep, Prezi for my favorite business partner. Ow, oh, that's me. I'm his favorite. So here's the Trident and he gave me Riptide and Anvil and Unbreaking. He's the best. Ever. I think I'll call it Gems Magic Fork. I have a trident. I'm so happy. This is extra cool because we don't actually have a lighter yet. Which means now I can come down to my handy dandy docks and just rip. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's. Wait. This is so fun. I've never actually. Oh, I've never actually used one of these before. Ow. Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool! I wanna see how high it'll go. Like, if it'll go to the highest part of. Yep! Aw, oh, nailed it! Tin Simple so kindly prepared those things, I feel like I ought to give him a little gift basket of things that he'll need. I shall deliver it via Riptide. Perfect. Well, everyone, I do hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's certainly been a fun one for me. <laughs> I'm really enjoying playing the start of Hermitcraft. I feel like I'm getting all of my thoughts together for my mega base. The farms are coming together. The plans are coming together. And I can't wait to let you in on them. I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's right.
I got your trident. They're mine now. It's mine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're scared. I know. 